Good afternoon. I'm Caitlin Matson. This is The Green Room. Lynn Davis is a distinguished town professor of Oregon at Wichita State University and has continued to cultivate and grow that program, bringing world-class organ soloists and organ music to central Kansas. And we are just thrilled that she is here with us on The Green Room. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. It's so lovely to see you again. And I I'm going to assume you had a wonderful summer because I think you spent most of it in France. <laughs> I I did. It was wonderful to go back home again because that's where part of my home is on this planet. <laughs> and upcoming uh, concerts at the university include kicking off both the Wednesday in Wiedemann series, but also the Distinguished Artist series where you welcome uh, professional soloists who come in, give master classes and perform for the community. Uh, Tell us, first of all, a bit about the Distinguished Artist Series and who we have coming first. Well, this is under the umbrella of the Re Bloomfield Organ Series. And the Distinguished Guest Artists and Wednesdays and Wiedemann are part of this big umbrella uh, series. So we have next Wednesday, I start off my Wednesdays and Wiedemann with a back to Bach concert, half an hour free admission, and people will, will enjoy hearing Bach. I haven't played it for some time. And <clears throat> that will be that will be very good. And then our first distinguished guest artist is Bradley Hunter Welsh, who comes to us from Dallas. He's the organist at the Meyerson Symphony Hall and a concert artist. He goes all around the country and the, the world giving concerts. You say back to Bach and how people will love hearing the Bach again. Are you talking about the famous Toccata and Fugue? No, I played that. I did play that on our Pops concert last May. Uh, but uh, there are others, there are other Bachs. And I know the audience loves Bach in any shape or form. So these pieces for a half an hour will, will be fodder for their soul, their musical souls. What is it about Bach on the organ that is so thrilling? Well, I mean, if you could put it to words, because you're absolutely right. Hearing Bach on the organ is a wonderful experience. Uh, what is it that that is so satisfying, would you say? Well, he, he manages to put words to music. And he, of course, does a lot of chorale tunes. And all the texts are perfectly matched up to the music. And it's it's a perfect impressionistic type uh, composition, but there's something, you know, he was the end of the line, the Baroque line, the best of the best. There was nobody who came after him. So there's something about listening to something that was so perfect that nobody could do anything like his composition after that. Hmm. Wednesdays in Wiedemann is a more casual atmosphere than the Distinguished Guest Artist series. Um, you oftentimes have students join you? I do. I do, especially at the Christmas and the Pops concerts. Uh, I like to show off the organ as uh, an instrument plus, the organ plus something, because the organ has so many different roles, accompanist, soloist, um, full orchestra, and at those times, the, the programs are a little bit longer. And we had a great Pops concert with a young jazz uh, band from a high school in Tulsa with two grads who brought them down here or brought them up here. So, you know, it's always, there are always students involved at some point to show off this, this great organ in the Great Hall. Wednesdays in Wiedemann, 515. I love that it starts at 515 because people have time after work to get there. But it's early enough they can go on and, you know, do whatever evening activities they have on a Wednesday night. So 515 in Wiedemann Hall, the very first this upcoming Wednesday on September the 6th. We'll be back and talk more with Lynn Davis. We'll be talking um, about uh, the Re Bloomfield Oregon series, the Distinguished Artist series and uh, other events planned for the upcoming school year. Um you know, organ repertoire isn't necessarily all that well known. There are a few things that everybody knows. Like we mentioned Bach's famous Toccata and Fugue, the one that we all heard first watching Disney's Fantasia. Another organ piece that I think many of us are familiar with, simply because we've been exposed to it, 
is Camille Sasson's organ concerto. We're going to hear Michael Murray performing the maestoso um, of that organ symphony. And we'll be right back with Lynn Davis. Michael Murray performing Camille Sasson's organ symphony number three. And uh, I have organist Lynn Davis with me in the green room. Uh, she is the artistic director of the Reed Bloomfield Organ Series and distinguished professor of organ at Wichita State. Um, you know, this wonderful thriving program that uh, was developed and is cultivated to show off this incredible organ that we are blessed with in, in Wichita. Tell us a bit about the organ itself. Well, the organ is built by a Danish company, uh, Markusen. Uh, you find lots of Danish uh, Markusen organs over there, but they built this one in 1986, and it was built at the same time as the hall, Wiedemann Hall. So that's its great particularity, um, and uh, it's a jewel in the Wichita State University campus already, and one of the best uh, organs in, in the country, if not the world, in, this, in such a setting. In the organ community, does this organ in Wiedemann Hall have the reputation? People talk about it. Um, they say, oh, have you performed in Wichita yet? You know, have you performed at Wichita State? Have you performed in Wiedemann? Um, is, is the instrument kind of on that level? Oh, definitely. It's it's one of the best in the, in the country. And everyone speaks of it as a very fine instrument, and more than fine. And, it, and mm. to find it in, in the hall, it's not just the instrument, it's the hall and the instrument. And to ha have it here, yes, it's very, very well known. And with the live streaming, we get more um, publicity over overseas too. Um, live streaming, you live stream all of your events so people can watch them. Um, you live stream them, is it to YouTube? Yes, it's the WSU TV uh youtube channel and we have the organ channel on that mm -hmm. there are over 52 uh videos on on our channel by now so there's a lot to choose from the very first concert of the reed bloomfield organ series is uh september the 19th uh bradley hunter welch um and then in november you you have some familiar names people that came last season that uh, everybody raved about and they loved them so much you had to invite them back. Tell us about the, the duo coming in November. Organized Rhythm is a duo of organ and percussion. Clive Dris Driscoll Smith plays the organ. He came last year because the, the duo couldn't come, so he came as a solo organist. And Joseph Gramley, who was at University of Michigan, now at Indiana, uh, is percussion. And they came several seasons ago. Very difficult to find a, a date to get them. So I'm really happy that they're coming in November. It's it's a concert no one will want to miss. And if you can, come in person. Yes, come in person. We were just talking when the music was playing about the difference it makes as a performer to have bodies in the audience because you can't duplicate the energy you get from an audience member if it's streaming. Even if you know, you know, you know, you could have 100 people tuning into your live stream. It's just different when somebody's there in person. That's right. I had wonderful audiences in France when I played two concerts there in the Jura Mountains. And the warmth that you I felt from coming from them was just extraordinary. And you can't replace that with uh, an empty hall and, and a live stream where there may be 50 people watching from, from Europe. You have to have somebody in front of you. You can look all you can you can look up for yourself and read all about the upcoming seasons. Um, the Wichita State University uh, website has a page specifically for your department, Lynn. Is that correct? It's wichita.edu slash organ. That's easy. easy. Wichita.edu slash organ. I also see an awful lot of um, promotion on social media. Lynn's active on social media. So you can also look up the Facebook, uh, the Wichita State School of Music there. And yes, on Instagram as well. Yeah. And on Instagram as well. Wednesdays in Wiedemann with Lynn Davis kicks off next Wednesday, September the 6th at 5.15. You can go after work. You can be home for a late dinner. You can go to church choir, whatever you do on a Wednesday night. And the Distinguished Guest Artist Series starts Tuesday, September the 19th. 
Lynn, thank you for joining me today and um, have a wonderful school year. I know you've already hit the ground running and I hope it's successful and I hope your students are excited to be back. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure being with you today. Anytime. Okay.